Hi, it's the 12th of October 2020 here in the UK uh, and I just wanted to read a story um, out um, and it's really important um, for, for me to read this story because this relates to a lot of the testing flaws um, by the PCR tests uh, which aren't uh, equipped to test for infectious diseases. So I'm going to just read this story, um, I'm going to read a few things today, a letter I received from Diane Abbott uh, and the removal form of the cremation certificate for deaths relating to COVID-19 under the Coronavirus Act. So I've got a few things to go through today. This is the headline, three Brits stuck in eternal hell as they're held against their will in COVID quarantine detention centres in Italy. This was published on the 20th of September 2020. Three British pals say they are stuck in eternal hell as they are held against their will in a COVID-19 quarantine detention centre in Italy. The three friends, Will Castle, 22, Ryan James, 23, and Quinn Pasquense, 20, were teaching English in Florence when they tested positive for the coronavirus on August the 17th. They were, they were then taken from hospital to a coronavirus centre and put in small separate rooms where they face being stuck indefinitely. Patients who have tested positive for the virus must test negative for the coronavirus twice, at least 24 hours apart before they are allowed to leave. Their meals, which can consist just of mozzarella cheese and carrots, are left outside their room by staff in hazmat suits. They are forced to wash their clothes in the bathroom sink using only shampoo. The three men who have been transferred to three separate facilities over the past five months, five months? My gosh, what, what, what must the parents be thinking? Uh, now what the UK government, they now want the UK government to intervene and help them leave the country and be repatriated. They fear otherwise they could be stuck in Italy at Christmas. Mr Castle from Haywoods Heath, West Sussex, told the Sunday Times, what we are looking for is the Foreign Office or whoever has the ability to get us out of here to get in and repatriate us. We just want someone to take notice so we can return home. We can isolate there. We just want to continue our lives and need and, and not be stuck in this eternal hell. We could test negative next week, the week after or never. We are literally at the mercy as to when we get to leave. Mr Castle also claims one of his friends suffers from celiac disease but says his dietary needs have not been catered for and he has at times been forced to eat food containing gluten. He told um, Metro the pastoral care has just been really rubbish. To keep their spirits up, the three pals often video call one another, but they say the Wi-Fi connection can be poor. The only in-person interaction they have with others is when a cleaner in a hazmat suit comes in to disinfect their rooms. Uh, Mr Pazantny from Worksop, Nottinghamshire, said, We are all in separate rooms, not allowed to leave these four walls. The meals are lacking in nutrients, so they're imprisoned and they've been imprisoned for five months. The World Health Organisation, who has previously warned against requiring two negative tests before releasing people from quarantine, saying it could result in long periods of isolation affecting individuals' well-being. The three guys are regularly tested every Monday, but have so far tested positive every week. They say this is because of dead coronavirus cells that have stayed in their system. The Foreign Office spokesperson said, 
our staff are in regular contact with the local health authorities about the cases and have raised concerns with them about their dietary requirements. Now this story is really troubling uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, because of the testing flaws with the um, PCR tests. Now these PCR tests um, were never actually invented for this uh, and it was Cray Mullins, the inventor of that, who actually died last year sadly, so he can intervene uh, in what's going on at the moment. So the PCR tests, uh, they're not equipped to test for infectious diseases. According to its inventor, and that's who I've just mentioned, Cray Mullins, PCR testing procedures produce very high false positive results. There is no test that isolates COVID-19 and the FDA tested kits were contaminated with coronavirus. Eurofin's test kits were also contaminated and the Tasmanian president tested fruits and a goat, both of which came back positive. In Italy, results were flawed when each person who was given two tests was mistakenly recorded as two people rather than one. A similar scenario with positive tests were being double counted also occurred in the UK. And the coronavirus bill states that any individual can be forcibly quarantined in government facilities against their will if officials have a reason to believe they may have coronavirus. This new contract tracing app on phones means anyone logged as having had contact with someone who has tested positive by walking near them could be forced to quarantine. Several other apps are in development that have raised serious privacy issues. The NHS app allows a, a CIA funded company, Palanta, to access all national health care data on everyone in the country. An NHSX app containing taxpayers, 11.8 million, was recently abandoned by the UK government. Now, this story should be concerning to everyone. Uh, I have been writing to all the MPs in the UK, over 600 of them, on a regular basis. I actually received a letter back from Diane Abbott. Um, I emailed her regarding the Coronavirus Act and the way that she was going to vote. And this is the response I got back. Um, Thank you for writing to me about the Coronavirus Act. I understand your concerns. There is no doubt that government does have an obligation to step in to protect people's lives. This can sometimes involve restrictions on individual freedoms. But viruses are not cured by removing people's rights and freedoms. Sadly, this is what the government is doing. In particular, I am concerned that the police have been given extensive new powers to detain people to detain people that they think might be infectious, force them to be tested and place them in quarantine without a time limit. As you know, the police can also hand out fines which have recently been increased and use force to impose the lockdown. And she puts here, unfortunately, I could not be in parliament to vote against the renewal of the Coronavirus Act recently because I am self-isolating for health reasons. But it will come up for renewal again, and unless the Act is significantly, significantly amended, I will not be voting to renew it again. So that was a response I got back from Diana, but she's obviously concerned about these uh, quarantine restrictions, and so she should be, and so should all of we be. Um, especially uh, in connection with these young boys who've been in quarantine and they keep testing positive for coronavirus. What happens if these boys uh, never uh, not test positive for coronavirus? Then what's going to happen? We really need to be asking all of these important questions. And another thing that I'm really concerned about is another statutory instrument that the government have placed 
uh, against the Coronavirus Act, and this is um, one. This is what it is. It's the removal of Form Five cremation certificate for deaths relating to COVID nineteen under the Coronavirus Act, and this allows a non COVID death to be registered as COVID. So that gives the government an excuse to keep continuing the lockdowns. They can say that X amount now have died of COVID, even though they haven't. Um, so it's feeding into the narrative that the government are giving us um, due to this removal of the cremation certificates for death relating to COVID-19. Pretty scary times we're living at the moment. And also there was another coronavirus act which was passed, which allows the police, if you die in police custody and you die at their hands, there is no recompense. There is no comeback on the police and they don't have to tell you why the person died when they're in quarantine. So if somebody dies in quarantine, they can put coronavirus uh, on the death certificate, even if they died at the hands of the police.